titrations, titrations, titrations. That's right. Today we'll be conducting another titration. But instead of investigating the endpoint of a titration, we are investigating the endpoint of a precipitation reaction. In this lab, we will determine the solubility and solubility product constant of silver acetate. Click here to review solubility. On the other hand, the solubility product constant tells us how much of our chemical will dissolve. This is also called dissociation, since Ksp is normally just equal to products over reactants, but typically our reactants are, are solids, so they can be cancelled out of the equation. And because it doesn't include solids or reactants, usually the higher the Ksp value, the more of this compound will dissolve in your solution. In this lab, we will be observing the common ion effect. If we think of an equation as a balance, if we increase this side, what's going to happen for the equation to come to equilibrium? Well, this side has to also increase until it comes to equilibrium. If we have this side increase, and we can't adjust this side, this side must decrease in order for the balance to stay in equilibrium. Obviously, you won't be doing your titration in these cylinders, but I just wanted to have a close-up so that you could see what would happen. We will be using potassium chromate indicator, which measures the concentration of chlorine ions to help us determine our endpoint. Potassium chromate indicator turns yellow in the presence of chlorine. So initially, the silver ion will react with the chloride to form precipitate silver chloride. Once all of the chloride is removed, the silver will react with our indicator to form a red-brown precipitate. So initially, the silver ion will react with the chloride to form precipitate silver chloride. Once all of the chloride is removed, the silver will react with our indicator to form a red-brown precipitate. Once this color stays, or is permanent, we can go ahead and stop our titration. Remember, we only want a permanent red-brown color. So as soon as we see that color stay, we know that our titration is finished. In this lab, we will have titration stations A, B, C, and D in order to finish the experiment a little bit faster. Each group will run a titration, and with all the groups, you should be able to determine an equilibrium constant. Everyone will share their results on the board, and in the back of the lab manual, you can find helpful tables for your calculations. That's all for today's lab, folks. So, want to hear a joke about nitric oxide? No.